And welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's the fifth episode, so you know what that means. Another guest commentator. And this time, it's none other than Raza Delta. How's it going, everybody? He's there. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put myself on Do Not Disturb so I don't get any Skype disturbances. Since we're in a Skype yeah. call recording. That would help. So yeah, anyway, in this episode, I'm... I think last time I did the... I don't know what I did last time. Who cares? But this time I'm going to do the Throwback Galaxy. Yay! It's a lot of that fun. Like this is one of my favorite galaxies. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's straight from Super Mario 64. Of course, there are some pretty... There are some similarities, but there are also some differences. This, since there is, this is a completely different game. But I, I chose to have you guest commentate on this episode, since I remember one time you telling me this was one of your favorite galaxies, so... I kind of saved this, this for you. I think it's this one, and... Mm, it's that one... It's not Gusty Garden. It's that one with like that big, huge rock in Galaxy 1, and it's like... Or something like that. The big, I can't think of what it's called. The big, huge rock. In Galaxy 1. I know it's in like the boss remakes in this game. Oh, okay. Like the Boss Blitz Galaxy or something? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I don't remember what his boss name is, but... That sounds like Bol Boulder Geist. Is that the one where you gotta spin around with yes, the bomb? Yes, it is. The, and uh, let me Black tell you, yes. that boss <laughs> that boss normally gives me a lot of trouble, and it's extremely hard in Galaxy One because there's a there's a challenge where it's a Daredevil prankster comment challenge, and it's a like I said a Daredevil run, so you can't take a single hit, and that boss easily hits you, so it's a big pain in the butt. And I'm pretty sure it's like like that in this game for the prankster comment, but now that I remember. Well, the prankster unless... comment for that galaxy is like a speed run thing. Thankfully, it's not a daredevil run. Oh, thank goodness that galaxy is not a daredevil run. Oh my gosh. Still, it can give you some trouble because you yeah. give your time. But... Yeah. But it's, it would be a night, complete nightmare if it was a daredevil challenge. But yeah, doing this galaxy really doesn't take that long, so I'm kind of playing at a slow and casual pace here. Just to give you more time to commentate with me, because if you go straight for the stars, it will not take you long at all. I think it's about five minutes just to get the stars in, all honesty. Here, you can just sort of go go for it. Yeah, it's not going to take very long. I'm just kind of exploring the rest of the stage, just just kicking back, playing around. It, it's worth exploring. I mean, if you're a fan of Super Mario 64 and you've played the stage, you're, you're going to want to explore and see what's the same and also what's different. So that's sort of what I did the first time I played this game. Of course, the pink bombs are back, and they talk to you and tell you stuff. But whatever. The one thing that I love that they kept in this galaxy was the music. Get the original music. Yep. It's slightly remixed, but it's pretty much the same. So yeah, I got the comp mill there. I just did some fancy footwork or jumping. First time I did this, I forgot. I never saw where the comp metal was. <laughs> And I saw it briefly in like the opening scene, so I would like restart the game to see where it was again. It's like, oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, I gotta do a tricky jump to it. It seems like in the original six Nintendo 64 version, there was a cannon there where that hole is, and you had to blast your way over there. But yep. There's not a cannon in there anymore. Now it's a little mini launch star. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Anyway, I, I might do a Let's Play of Super Mario 64 sometime in the future, but it's definitely not on my immediate radar, but it's definitely a game I can see myself well you know, because it's a, game, it's a Mario game I love, and it's one I'm very familiar with, so I could probably do it. And I play a lot of Mario games, so when I make Let's Plays, it's almost like every other game I LP is a Mario game, if you noticed. <laughs> I, I think so. my immediate L uh, LPs would probably be the two, that, the first two LPs I did on my old channel, and probably Pokemon Coliseum. Interesting. You gonna? Are you gonna redo Mario Galaxy 2? Yes, but I do want to do the first one first. Okay. That'd be good. So I, I don't know when I want to do them, but I definitely want to redo them. That's fine. Both. The two, the two games that are on my immediate radar right now. I've already I think I've said this before. I want to do uh, new Super Mario Bros. U 5 player and Rayman Legends 5 player. So that's what's probably going to come next after this LP is all over and done with. So, yay. And Mama Snow is working the tablet. Mm hmm. Yeah, I hired her for the tablet. She, she said she was cool with it. She doesn't mind because, you know, Snow's not really a gamer. And I think she'd rather work the tablet anyway. But the people what? I'm playing with are gamers. 
Now, they don't really all necessarily play Mario games, but they're all gamers in general, so... We should do... Are you getting Samuel down again? Or no, no, no. iPod Man, no. Because iPod Man doesn't play with others. He likes to murder you. <laughs> so, no. No iPod Man. It's just going to be me, my friend Pate. Uh, do, do you remember watching the Brawl Shenanigans or the Brawl Tournament video I uploaded a few months ago? The one where everyone was laughing at uh, the Animal Crossing scene, or different? yeah, yeah, oh yeah, either either one. It's the same people. So it's people that were I was with then and there. See, I'm getting with oh yeah, I'm battling the Womp King here. So, not quite the same as it was before, but he's a lot bigger. Yeah. And he summons minis, but whatever. But yeah, we're gonna. I'm invading my friend Pate's house. Because she's actually somebody I went to high school with, so I do know her. And I actually never knew she was a gamer until here pretty recently, or, well, a few months ago, I should say. But, uh, apparently she plays a lot of the same games I do. So, oh, finally, I have a gamer friend! And I thought, wait a minute, do you have other gamer friends that be up for doing some co-op LPs? She's like, yeah. It's like, hot damn, we're doing it. I'm officially <laughs> hiring you and your friends. Dude. Now, does she do Let's Plays like you do? She does not, and it really surprises me that she doesn't for as much games as she plays. I don't know why she doesn't make Let's Plays, but she does have a YouTube account. Huh. Did you ever recommend it to her to, like, start? Yeah, I told her, why don't you do Let's Plays? I don't remember the reason she gave me, but I think she'd just rather watch than actually do it. I don't know. She may, she may feel like she doesn't have good enough commentary skills. I don't know. That's how I felt when I first started, but... I don't know if I ever told you this before, but what I used to do is I used to put a teddy bear in front of me so it was like <laughs> talking to someone. Well, my commentary skills flat out sucked when I first started making Let's Plays. I'm not saying my commentary skills are great, but I will say they have definitely gotten better as I've continued making Let's Plays and gotten a lot more experience. It's a lot easier for me to improvise now, and I've learned how to, how to talk. When yeah. you're doing commentaries for Let's Plays, you, you don't have to be funny or silly all the time. What I found works for me is talking in a way where it sounds like I love what I'm talking about because... And you know what you're talking about. Yeah, be, in, be informative, be knowledgeable, act like you give a damn. And now I'm swearing. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. The one thing I said I would never do when I first started making Let's Plays, and I'm doing it now. I said that in like my first couple videos, but I broke those promises like every video. It's okay, I forgive you. But the way I do my commentaries, the way I talk, I, you know when you hit the right subject with people, they sort of light up and they're passionate about you know, talking about that subject, you know, whether it be a game or talking about games. And that's yep. the way I do my commentaries. I talk like I'm passionate about it. And that really holds a lot more interest. So that's the way I'm doing it now, the way my voice is sort of going. But whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I, I played this one a little quicker now since I sort of wasted a lot of time <laughs> yep. getting that first star, but now this challenge is nothing but silver stars. So now that you've done a bunch of Let's Plays with, like, and you've been on YouTube for about, like, two years, I'm going to say, right? No, I've been on YouTube since, uh, technically it was June of 2011, so it's, it's well, <coughs> excuse me, so it's been about a year and a half. But uh, what could you say was your favorite catchphrase of all your Let's Plays? I don't remember having a catchphrase. I don't think I'm. Or like a one. favorite saying that you'd always say. Well, the way I used to introduce my videos, <laughs> I don't think I do this much anymore. But I used to go, "Welcome back to Let's Play." Blah, 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 blah. You know, like that. I go. I would just. <laughs> I remember that. I would just scream, "Welcome!" But I, like, Hello. Yeah, I would just get so in your face, and I got that from another Let's Player that did that. It was, I forgot the username, it's actually one of the more popular LPers, I want to say it's something like Naka Teleli or something, I, don't, I can't spell it or pronounce it. Who's he? I don't even know, but he was doing like a three player co-op of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and that's how they began episode one, you know, one of them just screamed out, WELCOME! To He's like, take that, internet, Moonja. Oh, wait, you can't see my butt over the computer. Oh, well. Oh, oh, they could see it when I was doing it. Oh, man. Yes, I could. 
you've seen, but, uh, if you've that seen, that was a fun let's play. I mean, live stream all in all, but eh. yeah, but uh, it was. I wasn't expecting such hardcore nudity. Who <laughs> knew? <laughs> but before, while well, we got like a one minute left in this video, what was your favorite LP that you did? Well, let's see. I love them all. I don't know if I could choose a favorite because I just have so much fun making them. But I will say this, my favorite games so far that I've done have been this one and Ocarina of Time. And because they're my, this is my favorite 3D Mario game and Ocarina of Time is my favorite video game ever. So those have definitely been some of the more enjoyable ones. But also doing uh, the full player of Kirby's Return to Dream Land was also great, I would say. Yes, it was. I liked it too. But, you know, you could better say your outro before it's too late. Uh, goodbye, folks. <laughs> I don't care. Say bye. Bye, I guess. I don't want to say goodbye. No, we're saying bye now. Later, folks. Bye.